Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some unkind gems This just some unkind gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes, it's looking vibrant on my shirt. And time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. Hey, all good? All praises, man. Y'all believe in God? Yes. Yeah. All, right. all praises. Y'all believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. Now, now, real quick, right? Y'all so called black men after the man. Afro-Caribbean specifically. Where are you yeah. from? Where are you from? I'm from the East Coast. So I'm here visiting my friend who lives down there. No, I'm here in the accent. Where are you from, man? I'm from, from Massachusetts. From Massachusetts? Okay, okay, okay. okay. What about you, man? Yeah, same, same thing. thing. Same thing? Are we, all y'all come from the East Coast? Y'all visiting? Or like, what's going on? Visit, visit. Visit? Visit? All right. All right. Y'all ever heard of the Israelites before? Yeah. Okay, what y'all know about the Israelites? I've just seen like viral videos online, <laughs> kind of situation like this where people are walking by. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What you think about it? You tell me, I don't know. I'm here. We're here right now. Oh, wow. Live, so. well, let, me, let me show you something. Uh, yeah. Psalm 18, verse 6. You give me, uh, 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 give me Matthew 15 and 24, right? Now, now, of course, we teach so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the same people. Not only oh, that, God, just we are God's chosen people, the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, right? And so we have to understand that as His chosen people, we have responsibility. But first, we have to know who we are as a people. We walk around, we call ourselves white right Americans, Haitians, Colombians. Uh, 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 what else we call ourselves? True. We call ourselves all these things, but we don't call ourselves. Which are the Israelites? The word Israelite or Yahshua in the Hebrew means prince of the power of a prince of God. We are princes of God, right? We are children of the Most High. And as children, we are God. Did y'all know that God was God? Did y'all ever heard that before out the Bible? Oh, yeah. You heard that? That at the Bible? For the Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. Uh -huh. I have said, Ye are God. What did the Most High say about these men? Ye, ye are God. Uh -huh. And all of you are children of the Most High. And that's, how, and that's who we are as a people. We have to conjunct ourselves to We can't be out here hand second half of our ass and, and let, letting our women do what they do. Like, who well, these two people got this out here? Uh, sexy, sexy red and the other wretched thing. They all that is. Either way, I'm going to Yeah. Do you see that? see how America has taught our people to raise our children like that. Okay, Kiss me, Adam. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 15. And then give me four. You dip it? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, okay, shalom. Yabisham Shabrakatah. Yabisham Shabrakatah. Shalom, shalom. Deuteronomy 4, verse 5. No, second like it. Seven. 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 Good. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. I know what the word holy Everybody know what that means. It's okay if you don't. It's okay if you don't share. Not technically. Not technically. Like, trying to be on the righteous path. Here. In, in short, with the actual definition, it means to be separate or set apart. You ever see the show like, uh, like The Bachelor or Bachelorette? Or, 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 or what was that show? Uh, the, for the love of flavor, flame, and all that? You got one person in a group of people. And out of that group of people, they picked one person that had to be with, right? So out of all the families of Earth, matter of fact, give me that in second, and then, uh, 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 second as five and 27. But out of all the people of Earth, the Most High chose Israel. He separated us from every nation in the planet. Go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He, he chose us to be what? To be a special people unto himself. Just like when you choose that special lady, you done chose her out of every in the earth. She done chose you out of every man on the earth. Y'all are special to each other. It's the same thing with the most high. Out of all the famous of earth, he chose us because we are special to him. And we ought to treat him as special to us. See? 
Above all people. No, 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 we're the same. Above. Above all people. Above all people. If you're above somebody, but yet in America, they say, oh, wait, where everyone is equal. They don't treat us like that, do they? But God himself said that we are above all nations on the face of the earth. Right? You know what the term, because we can call races all the time. You know what I, you know what the term races means? It means to prefer one to each. This is, now, people get that confused with racism. Racism is the institution that runs in there. That's what racism is. It's where you exercise your power to belittle and oppress another people that is not your own. That's what racism is. Racism is to prefer your own people. I prefer my own people. Who fights for us? Who really stands up and really tells us what the, the real thing is? Like what's really going on? Nobody's doing that. But yet, when someone comes out and do it, they get called racist. They get called evil. They say, oh, you wish like, y'all are wicked. Y'all just niggas with five years. Y'all are hate. You know what else they do? We do. We do. I want to put a sniper out across the way and they shoot a leader while he's walking out of his hotel. What am I talking about? You know what else they do? They also stage an event to where another powerful leader gets killed. And so they kill him in a hospital way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm talking about my mouth. You know what else they do? They don't teach you about Nat Turner. A slave who read the Bible and realized that he and his people are the people who put in and decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm finna get all y'all that's with me, you gonna kill master. Like all y'all that's about to go snitch, you gotta die. I can't have you snitching when I'm about to try to get my But what they do in the Anytime any any some of us raise up, our oppressor gives us the, gives us the, the example. If you stand up against what you got, but guess what? When you got the Most High on your side, and you realize that we are the ones that wrong the Most High, and actually repent, turn from the turn from the reasons on why you did wrong against the Most High God. That's when it becomes. That's when he's back on their side. We gotta acknowledge that we the one that did wrong. There's an expression that most uh, people would say, uh, we waiting on God to come back. We waiting, the most high is waiting on us to come back to our right mind. Like, y'all got to be like drug addicts and you got to be like, y'all got to be drug addicts before? Do they, did they ask for help? So all you break, you help me, I'm going to stop. I promise I'll stop, I promise. Just help me, please, help me, please. Help me a little bit. They don't stop. Keep going. But then when you say no, now they want to freak out a little bit. Now they are mad. But then somewhere down the line, they realize that they want to help. And then they want to help. They get clean and they actually get better. And then they come back and ask for help. I'm going to try to help them then. Why? If they took the right step, they're meeting me halfway. I feel like that's what we have to do is the people. The most high only asks us to do one thing, one thing only. And that is keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. You got that in Ezekiel? Second Ezekiel? Second Ezekiel? I do what that means. That's why I'm like that. Yep, watch this. Just, just, to, just to pin down the point that he chose us out of everybody. Go ahead. The book of Second Ezra, chapter five, verse twenty-seven, uh -huh. and among all the multitudes of peoples, uh -huh. thou hast gotten thee one people, uh -huh. one people, and, did what? and unto this people uh -huh. whom thou lovest, uh -huh. that, who, who thou what? whom thou lovest. The Christian church will say that God loves everybody in the earth. Right? This is saying that He chose one people in that people whom thou lovest, loves this church. Thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Give me Psalms. 148 and verse 19. I'm going to show you who he, who he did that to. Right? He, he, he gave these people something to do, right? The song verse. 147 and verse 19. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He sheweth his word unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. Y'all know who Jacob is? That is, the, that is the grandson of Abraham whose name is going to change to Israel. He's the father of the Israelites. And he said he showed his word unto Jacob and what? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. We're talking about the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? He have not dealt so with any nation. He didn't do that to nobody else. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Other nations don't know these judgments. And I will show you why they don't know these judgments. Now give me that. Deuteronomy 28 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you listen to what God is saying, I'm going to read 
to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, right? that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said, if you listen to me, I'm going to push you on high there, above everybody on earth. Are we high on the earth right now? Or are we low? As a group, we low. Because you got individuals that's up there. But as a collective of black strength, they can call the major, the bottom of the world. We don't take care of people on the face of that kind of I'm going to show you what. Jump to 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Same chapter. So 1 14. If you listen, these are the blessings. Listen to 15. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen, read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Are curses a good thing? They're not a good thing. So it says, if you listen, you get blessed. But if you don't listen, you get cursed. Now let's let's can I read you a couple of curses? Let's see who they fit real quick. Give me. You know what? Read verse thirty. Verse thirty. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Now, on the plantation, couldn't master just walk to your shed with his overseer say, "Boy, get out." And then you gotta stand there with the overseer looking at you in your shit. You twist your face up, you're gonna beat your ass to kill you. And while you're sitting there having to keep a straight face, you gotta listen as the slave master breaks your wife. Read that again. Thou shalt betroth a wife. You're gonna get a wife. And another man shall lie with her. And what's also purported and celebrated in our music now. Oh, I tried to I'm gonna take your girl. Oh, 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 I done cheated on my man. Celebrate it now. The things that we hate are now celebrated because our people are twisted and lost in the sauce. Keep going. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. This is talking about how, how our people would actually build up all these nice, beautiful neighborhoods. We don't build up America, right? Do we enjoy the best part of America as collective? Are we stuck in the hood, the ghetto, and the barrios, right? So we done built up this whole house and we don't get to enjoy most of it. Jump to 54. Y'all ever been, y'all ever been uh, beaten up before for no reason by your own people? Just walking by somebody like, just for no reason. Have you ever caught yourself here? Be honest. Not these days. Not these, like not, it's been a minute. It's been, but, but, but grown, so let's just okay, Hey, look, yeah, you gotta grow as a man, right? You got to. What about single player household? Is that a problem? That is a huge problem. Domestic violence? What about women? Using children to get back at the baby daddy. Yeah. Women also putting their hands on the man and then gonna call the police saying he hit me. He hit me. She the one that was doing that. Now that man's in the bed. Watch this. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. If something's tender and delicate, how do you handle it? With exactly. As, as, as a collective of people, should we handle each other? Like, right, this is a big deal. Do we collectively handle each other again? We don't. It's something that we ought to do, but we don't. Read that again. Go ahead. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate, right? his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes going to be evil towards his own brother. Like I said, you ever been just sized up for no reason? You done did it before too. It's just, that's a curse amongst our people. You going you going you just gonna have an evil eye towards your own for no reason. Man, look at this nigga, man. You think he cool with all this? Like, man, this nigga, man. Snatch his chain off his neck, man. Or, or not even that. You be in a club. It be packed in the club sometimes, right? You chilling. You got your drink on. You accidentally stepped on somebody. Oh my bad, but man, you just stepped on my. Shit. That's an evil eye towards your own. Read. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the what? And toward the wife of his bosom. Domestic violence, read. And toward the remnant of his children. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall leave. Child abuse in single parent households. Give me 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, uh -huh. which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, uh -huh. her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. Now the woman got an evil eye towards the man. Don't you see on a whole bunch of, I know, I see it all the time on social media, how women are always saying, the man do this, that's, that's not even being the man, toxic masculinity, all women have evil eyes towards us, yes? Keep going. And toward her son. And toward her what? And toward her son. The man, the child, read. And toward her daughter. Uh-huh. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. Uh-huh. And toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for one of all things. You see that? Taking advantage of the children. So that way she can gain benefit. Now it's not all of us, but there's a good vast majority of our people that do this madness. Do we go through these things? Did we get put on ships? 
Did, did we get sold? Leave for 68. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, real quick, you know about the story of Moses, right? They walked out of Egypt into Israel. You don't need a you don't need a ship to go from Egypt to Israel, or vice versa. The word Egypt itself is simply means a double straits or between a rock and a hard place or slavery. It comes from the Hebrew word matazarium, right? So it's saying that you are gonna go into slavery by way of ships. Who went to slavery by way of ships? Historically. So-called African Americans, right? But what they also don't teach is that the natives of this land, who we call the Native Americans and the Hispanics, they went on ships before we did, right? So it's not just us, it's also our brothers and sisters of this land. They also got put on ships. And what happened? By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou, uh -huh. shalt, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning you're not going to see this in the physical land of Egypt. Talking about a new place that's like Egypt, a new place of oppression and slavery. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Weren't we sold? We were sold on auction blocks, right? Were we sold to our friends? Nah, right? Because our friends wouldn't do the evil things that they did to us, right? They wouldn't hang us up on trees. They wouldn't rape our women. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't castrate our young boys. They, they wouldn't experiment on our women. They wouldn't tie a big, swole brother up to four different horses, cover them in tar and feathers, set them on fire, and make every other slave watch as we pulled apart. Your friend wouldn't do that. But who sold? Who, we were sold unto who? There you shall be sold unto your enemies. For what? For bond men and bond women. Slave man and slave woman. You see that? We went through these things, right? Why is what we went through in the Bible? It's because we the people. If we go through these things, which are the curses, what did we not do? Did we listen to God? We didn't obey God, did we? What other nation outside of us goes through these things? We are the Jews. We are the Jews. If, if, are you talking about Jewish people? But guess what though, they didn't. They didn't go through the things that we go through. That was a white on white crime. Give me 49, because I'm gonna show you. That's something that a one Caucasian group did to another Caucasian group. Watch this, give me 49. Verse 49. Verse 49. Like it. Yeah, 49. Watch. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. He said, hey, we bring a nation against you from far. A whole nother group of people, read from the end of the earth. Somewhere from on the, on the other side of the earth, read. As swift as the eagle flieth. Uh-huh. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did we speak English when they first came to get us? Did the Hispanics speak Spanish? Did the Native Americans speak, did any of us speak French, German, British, English, any of that? So we had a Caucasian people who were typically from Europe come over to where we was chilling at over on the Gold Coast of Africa and over here in the Americas. From the other side of the earth, they came over here. We didn't understand what they were saying, and what happened? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Uh -huh. A nation of fierce countenance, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor show favor to the young. Did they care if there was young, old man, woman, or child? Now, did our people do this, or did another people do this? It said a nation of people. So if you, you, you could try to apply it to those people that call themselves Jews. You can try that. If they don't fit that, do they? But do we fit that? That's not the people. Like we read earlier in Psalms, he said, I what? I showed my word unto Jacob, my statutes and my judgments unto Israel. But as for the other people, they do not know them. These are judgments for not obeying God. We know him because we go through these judgments. These people don't know him. But you know what? They're going to try and give us this, a fake Jesus Christ. And then try to force us into this thing called Christianity, which you will never find in the Bible. God only told us to keep his commandments. That's all he ever asked us to do. He said, I'll be your God, you be my people, keep my commandments, and I'm gonna put you above everybody. Break my commandments, and in short, I'm gonna break my foot off in your ass. And that's exactly what he did. So how do you, so how do you think we're supposed to get right and get up out of here? Y'all wanna stay in America forever? Give me, give me Psalms 126, actually. Y'all got kids? Y'all got kids? Nah, not yet? You got stepkids? You love them kids, man. Be a father to the fathers, man. All right? But, but I say it like this. If your kid ever comes up to you like that, I want to go to my cousin's for a month, and I'm going to walk there. Would you feel safe of that happening right now? But if you were able to feel safe about that and know that nothing bad was going to happen to your child, would that be a delightful feeling? 
It'd be a beautiful feeling, wouldn't it? Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 126 from the top. Uh -huh. When the Lord turned again, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Now what that means is to end the captivity, to end the slavery. We little, how can I say it? It's not often discussed, but we are still in our captivity to this day. There's no way you can tell me that I'm free in the same land that my people were in slavery. There, you know that right over there, down in Main Street, right? Right over where they got the little fountain area before you get to the ATT spot. That whole little post right there, that nice little city looking sign, it tells about the story about how the city of Dallas dragged a black man by horse from that red courthouse that's down that's closed. Dragged him on the ground with his neck tied and strung him up and hung him. That is the place that, you mean to tell me that I'm free in the same place that this happened? How am I free when a police officer can put his neck on a man for eight minutes and 43 seconds and nobody do a goddamn thing? How am I free in the same place where a police officer can go up to a window, suspect something, and just shoot into the window blindly and kill his sister and nothing happens? That's not freedom. We getting preyed upon out here, man. The freedom comes when we get to leave this place. We not safe here. Read that again. Book of Psalms, chapter 126, from the top. Uh -huh. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. You ever wake up from a bad dream? You're like, okay, now I'm cool, I'm safe. You ever had that moment? That's what it won't be like when we're not here no more, man. That's when you get to have that moment with your child and say, Dad, I'm finna go to my cousin's house for a month and I'm gonna walk there. Okay, go ahead. Have fun. You don't gotta worry about that no more. That's what it's gonna be like in the kingdom of heaven. But it's not going. But we're not going to get there if we don't put in the effort. Give me Revelations 14 and 12. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how you get out of it. Y'all know how y'all get saved? Y'all know how y'all get salvation? Do you know? Do you have an idea? I would say. I mean, it's probably like a deep question. I have my own. Actually, you know what? My my apologies. I've been talking this whole time. Do you have questions? That's my that's my bad. Uh, you got questions? No, but not you know the whole idea. Of, us being the true Israelites, like that's been a concept that mm -hmm. like, me and my friends have talked about, but I'm not well versed, so thank you for just making No me problem, aware. brother. No problem, um, man. Me and my parents are from the DR, so I know the tribe of Simeon. Oh, okay, so, so you were Simeon now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, the most high hey, man, you know the kingdom, I'm all no, crazy. I'm lightly aware of like, stuff like okay, that. Okay, but, um, okay, okay. See, see, I knew. I heard that. I was like, nah, man. You're not, you're not just a regular black man. You see that? Oh, praises, man. But, um, no, no questions. No questions? I would say, like, just specifically for me, as I've gotten older, you know, I'm trying to, uh, like you said, in regards to the word holy, to separate myself from Three. the culture and the norms and right. try to walk righteously or, you know, from the food that I eat, not drink, There you go. Food, you, you're trying to apply food. those changes. I'm to apply those changes. Get the most high hand. Get, get the most high hand. That, that, that's the first step. Because one, cause I'll put it to you this way. One, it helps you when you surround yourself by like-minded brothers. Right? One of my favorite verses, which we don't got to get it yet, in Ecclesiastes uh, 4, it talks about how two are better than one. Because when you're stumbling, you got your book, pick your ass up, man. Like, you you, you, in, you need counseling, whatever it is. You got your brother, they're like, hey, man, I got you. Talk to me. Like, hey, man, I'm about to go to this girl. What the fuck you doing going there? You finna go over there? And she's been doing coke and all that. You won't be enticed, man. Don't go over there. You got to you gotta have someone to keep you straight, right? And you add, and, and you want to know, know how to be righteous, right? I'm going to show you. And guess where I'm going to show you at? In the law. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. I'm going to give you what, how God said to be righteous. It's easy as hell. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Uh -huh. And it shall be our righteousness. That what? If we observe to do all these commandments uh -huh. before the Lord our God, as he hath commanded us. When we keep these laws, statutes, commandments, that is our righteousness. You see how all these brothers, how we got beards on our faces? You know, if you can grow a beard, grow a beard. I see you can grow one. I see it. Just let it grow, man. A beard is a badge of a man. You think you see how all of us got fringes or tassels on? That's Numbers 15 and 38. We're commanded to wear these throughout our generations. We're commanded to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? We're commanded not to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. He gave us a whole dietary law. Everybody's trying to figure out what the best diet is. How are you going to get a better diet than one guy? Gave? That's Leviticus 11. You want to know what to eat, what not to eat? He gave it to you right there. 
He gonna know what's good for you and what's bad for you, right? And it also comes with self-discipline. If you can light a fire under yourself, that's a great thing to have. Because now you're trying to change yourself, right? Give me, give me Revelations 1 and verse 3. I'm going to show you what, what's really going to help you out here, right? You got Revelations uh, uh, 14 and 12? Hold that real quick. Give me Revelations 1 and 3. Baba Kasha. Watch this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is what? Blessed is he that readeth. You got to read. You got to get in this book. Understand that this book right here, this is not no, it's not a religious book. This is a book about your family as they grew into a nation, their history, and the dealings that your people had with their deity, which is the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah, meaning he that saves or he is the Savior. And the word Yahweh, or the name Yahweh, rather means he is or he exists or the existing one. He created all this, man. He had his son build all this for us, man. And he deserves all the glory. He deserves, he deserves everything, man. Right? So, so what we got to do is change ourselves. He only asks us to keep the law. It's easy to do. But see, we have an issue with wanting to be like everybody else on the face of the earth. We have an issue with being separate. Because when we're separate, we're not like them. We can see them like, oh, man, they, they have a party over there. They're having fun. They're doing this, that, and the third, and I'm over here. For some reason, we, we associate being godly people with being born, being lackluster. When that is what makes us special and great. Like, what could be more special than being special to the man that made everything? He didn't say that the whole earth is special to him. He said that these people, the Israelites, are special to me. Now give me Revelation. Let me show you something. No, you're good. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12. Uh -huh. Here is the patience of the saints. And we are the saints. You read that in the scripture. It talks about how the Israelites are the saints of the Bible. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God uh -huh. and the faith of Jesus. Uh huh. And that's what the saints are going to do. If you're going to be a saint and you you definitely an Israelite and you a saint, guess what? You got to keep these laws, such commandments, and you got to have that faith. Not faith in this guy. This guy will tell you to not keep the law. That guy will tell you to be to have an evil eye towards your people, to love the same people who hate you, but hate the people who go through the same thing as you. Shalom. 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 Right? Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 15, verse 4. Uh -huh. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Uh -huh. Gather my saints together unto me. Gather what? Gather my saints together unto me. For what? Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The only people that did that are the Israelites. But yet, the Christian church will try to tell you, oh, we in the new covenant. Because in the new covenant, it said that you will no longer teach every man his neighbor to know God. Are we not teaching you to know God right now? So we're not, we not in a new covenant. We're still in the same covenant that our forefathers made. We ought to keep the law because that's what he told us to do. He told us that in the law, it commands us to have faith in who the world calls Christ. Now, to your knowledge, does Christ love everybody? He says yes. Do you say yes? Is Christ going to save everybody? Now, when I mean everybody, everybody in the earth. So then how does he love everybody if he's not saving it? You see that? Somebody's got to die. Somebody has to pay for the crimes that they've committed against us. Matter of fact, somebody find that. Somebody give me the, uh, uh, they have touched the apple of my eye. Baba Kusha. I believe so. You give me that Matthew. Though. You give me that Matthew. I'm going to show you who Christ said he came to save. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Uh-huh. But he answered and said. This is Christ. Read. I am not sent, uh -huh. but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Is that everybody in the earth? It's not. That's one group of people. He's only sent to save his people. You got Acts 5? Go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Uh-huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Do you agree? Because damn what I say, damn what anybody says. What does the Bible say? What does the word of God say? I can give a damn what the next man says. If it's not in this Bible, I'm not running with you. Go ahead. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Which the Israelites did that, read. Him has God exalted with his right hand. Uh huh to be a prince and a savior uh -huh. for to give repentance to Israel to who? to Israel Read. and forgiveness of sin did it mention everybody in the earth? it only mentioned Israel that's what it is this book isn't about everybody in the earth this is about the Israelites and what's going to happen to them the prophecies around them the blessings, the curses, all that now does it talk about other nations? yes it talks about their judgment the things that they would do in the future to the Israelites 
and their part to play. But as far as the salvation that the Christian church love to talk about, that's for you, that's for you, and that's for you. And that's more than likely for him. All these brothers round about, these blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, and then the various things that we go by in the various parts of the corners of the earth. It's for us, it's not for everybody. I asked this question to a brother yesterday. You got a murderer about to kill somebody and somebody about to die. Who deserves salvation? The person that's about to die? What you say? What you say? The person that's about to die, right? But the Christian church will tell you that they both deserve salvation. Does that make sense? It don't make sense. We are the ones that have been getting killed. They are the ones who have been killed. How in the hell do they deserve salvation? You find what I want? Go ahead. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, and verse 8. Uh huh. For thus, say, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, right? after the glory hath he sent me unto the nation, and spoiled you. Uh huh. With spoiled, it doesn't mean to be given everything. It's to be having everything taken away from you. Much like when you have spoiled food. When food is spoiled, are the nutrients there? The things that are good for you in that food are now gone, right? It's rotten, it's bad for you. It's the same thing to this. These nations have spoiled us and have taken everything from us, including our thorough knowledge of self, read. For he that touches you. Now, now he said that he that touches you, the people that touch you, the Israelites do what? Touches the apple of his eye. You know what the apple of your eye is? It's your pupil. It's your reflection in your eye. That's basically your children. You touch, if somebody touch your child and you go on the war behind that, some grown person walk up on your child, they do something horrible to you. You going to war? I'm going to war. I'm not calling the police. If I know where you at, I know what you look like, I know your name and I can find you, fuck the police. I'm finna handle business behind me. That's how the most high feel. You done touched my apple with my eye, you gotta die for that, man. The most high has a judgment for these people. Right now, this is their kingdom. This is the time of the Gentiles that the, that the Bible speaks of. This is their time to rule the earth. But the kingdom of heaven that's gonna be here on earth, that's when we rule. That's when we get to be at peace. That's when you get that Psalms 126. And you get to be at peace and your children come up to you and say, I'm going up to my cousin's house for a month. Who deuces, dad? I'll bring you a gift in like a month and a half. You feel me? That, that's, that's when that come into play. But we got to do our part here, man. Let me give you one more scripture before you go. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, Barbara Kasha. And Two more. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 15. Hold that. I want this first. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 15. Uh -huh. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. To what? To love them. He's only loved our forefathers. Granted, we done went through hell, slavery, all that. But guess what? Just like how a father loves his child, he's going to whoop that ass when they wrong. But when he loves but but, but it's, it's out of love, it's not hate. When you, do, when, you, when you know better, you what? You do better, right? So, so when you know that sin is breaking the law of God, how do you not break the law of God? By keeping it, right? There you go. You know better, you do better. When you fuck up, did your parents whoop your ass? Your parents whoop your ass? Your parents whoop your ass? Was it out of hate? Are you a better man for it? Was you mad at the time when they did it? Was you cussing and screaming, but ooh, ooh, and like, what you doing in there? Ooh. You see what I'm saying? We all, we all done been there. But we better, but, but they did it so that way we wouldn't end up like these school shooters out here, man. Like when we go outside, we act like we got some goddamn sense. Because when a child goes out the house, they represent their parents' household, do they not? Now, as a collective of people, have we represented the Most High's house? We have not. We, we have been disgraced to his house. So now it's time for us to come back and represent that house. Go ahead. Read that. Uh, finish that out. You got sweat in your eye? <laughs> I was about to say, it's thing. How that happened to me last night. Uh huh. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers uh -huh. to love them. To love them, read. He chose. No, you good. He chose their seed. He chose their. He chose their seed. After them. He chose their seed after them. Even you. Even you above all people. Even you above all people. As it is this day. As it is to this day, man. To this day, he chose our forefathers all the way to their children, which is us. Now give me that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh-huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. 
fear God. We got to fear God, which is respect, as respect and actually fear him. You got to remember, they, the Christian church would say he's all love, kisses, and rainbows, is he? We talking about the same man who had a whole world full of people, killed everybody except for eight people. Imagine only eight people living if he flooded the world today. Does that sound like a, a happy man or a scary man? That's scary as hell, bro. We talking about the same man who destroyed a whole city because they were filled with homosexuality and, and, and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sexual immorality, right? We, we talking about the same man who his own people, when they was hating on their own, he said, look, these people that want to hate on Moses and the people who I chose to rose up, get away from them. Because tomorrow I'm going to open the ground and they're going to die. They know what he did? He opened the ground and they died. This man don't play games, bro. He don't play games. But that is why we ought to fear him. Keep going. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. Uh-huh. For this is the whole duty of man. That's all he ever asked us to do. Man. All right. I know it's hot. Y'all get some water, get some shade, and take these flyers, man. All right. We are, we are here every uh, uh, we are here every Saturday. Y all, y all, how long y'all down here for? I'm flying out. Flying out today? Okay, okay. Hey, look. We got brothers all over the place. Do we got people in the DMV? Does anybody know? Oh. In the DMV, that's Virginia, right? Oh no, that's that's, Washington, that's DC, Washington DC area. Virginia? You talking about yeah, Virginia? I know we got brothers in Baltimore. Oh, Massachusetts. Oh. Massachusetts. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we got brothers in Baltimore. Uh, uh, actually, we got we got people all throughout the area. We got people in Philly, New York, Baltimore. About to say that number that's on there. That's that brother right there with the with the uh, braids in his hair. But I say that's all of our social media on there as well. If you want to reach out and you're trying to find brothers in your area. Hit that email and we'll try and plug you in with those brothers, alright man? Hey brother, you got people that speak sorry, cut you. You got no, people that speak Spanish? I see you. Hey, uh, they just opened up a new channel of uh, Puerto Rico. Oh yeah, hey, we got, got brothers in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Sakari, just type in the Sakari, Sakari Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Out there now too. yes sir. Yes sir. So I mean, you know, it is hot. It is hot, it is hot. No problem, but that's what we are here for, man. We are here for our people, man. We'd rather do this all day. Of course, we got videos of us screaming and getting on people, but I tell you what, every Israelite that you see that do that, we would much rather have this type of moment every single time, man. Because that's all we out here for, man. That's right. right? So y'all get out this heat, get some water, and most importantly, y'all make sure y'all get back safe. Can y'all do that for me? All praise to the Most High, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, them hoes is lit, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that jockey smile. Man. Man. <laughs> no problem at all, brother. Y'all have a good one, man. All praise to the Most High, man. All praise, man. Get the Most High hand, man. Get the Most High, man. See, that's what we come out to do, man. What's going on, y'all? Y'all doing all right? No, 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 no English. That's cool, man. It is what it is out here, man. Yo, Ramama. No, no, I'm saying you trying to swap out. All right, you got okay, man. Cool. But with that, I'm going to call Halal, but now Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, Allah, Yahweh, Shah, and pass it off to the next powerful speaker. Shalom.